What is good, guys? I'm back with FPL. Uh, Shoko versus Jurachi for Black and White OU. Um, the la the last recording I did for Black and White is okay. Shoko misses a wisp. Like I thought it was ours at first because there's a Sableye, but it's barely a Sableye. It's not Mega Sableye. And he double misses a wisp. What's the slogan? Is that like slogan runs common, right? Player on common in Black and White. I assume this is like recover taunt as the third. <laughs> Will always finally connect, and he gets burned. Okay, that's some that's some bad luck for Shoka. Um, Alkazam runs a sash most of the time in black and white, right? So, um, are we gonna see pursuit from this tower, or is this rock star? Actually, I, I don't think it's rock star because it's probably like uh, rock. Spike Ferrox Lando maybe or I mean it could still be Rockstar, you never know. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. So the Lando is probably scarfed or double dance. I don't know if double dance Lando is a thing in, in black and white as it's superpower tar and the opposing tar, Jirachi star drops. I think Kingping Jr. is Jirachi. I don't know, this battle just popped up. I just got out of shower. I wanted to get people on call but I couldn't uh, I would have missed the start of the game otherwise. Uh, yeah, the last black and white battle I recorded, what I want to say is uh, we were confused that it was not the Sandwich Excadrill, but Sandwich Excadrill is obviously banned in black and white. I don't know. I blame my lack of sleep for not realizing that last game. And it's sub Landorus. Gets off Intimidated on Cheetahs, which. Okay, Pharaoh comes in. Oh, this Pharaoh sprite is looking weird. That earthquake did a good chunk. I think this Pharaoh was like. Uh, I don't know if it's standard mixed defensive Pharaoh or if it's more speed death. Uh, I think Pharaoh runs the death in black and white to take like Specs Pump from Keldeo. Is that a thing? Specs Keldeo and Rain in Gen 5? I think because Rain was like permanent. Nice double into uh, into Laddie. Either predicting Earthquake or predicting. I don't know if he predicted the Loom there. I don't think he predicted the Loom. It's Toxic Orb. I think that's pretty long, like substitute Focus Punch in black and white. As we're probably gonna see Draco. Okay, never mind, never mind. Uh, HP Fire predicting the Scissor, okay. Yeah, I, I get the play not going to scissor. I don't know how common uh, HP fire on Laddie is. Was it life or bloody? Yeah, it's life or bloody, okay. Oh, uh, Slowking probably lives. She, how much did HP fire did 12? Oh, uh, this Draco might actually kill. Uh, HP fire is 60 base power, so it's 30 after resistance. Draco is 90 plus. Uh, 130 plus step. Uh, 60, 195. Yeah, so Draco would kill this, pretty sure. Like, even if uh, Jirachi goes to Scissor here, this will take a huge hit. I think he has to sack something. Yeah, yeah the slow sloking goes down for sure. That's probably Fist of Sloking. I don't, know, I don't really know why. Uh, maybe it's mixed defensive, but... Nah, if it was mixed defensive, there's no way Draco would've killed from there, right? Because Sloking is like good spa dev. Yeah, I don't know uh, what what team these guys are on. I just uh, joined in really quick. I'm glad that I even made it. Uh, so I assume this is either Scarf Jump or probably Sandville, right? Because uh, Sand is up and Sand is permanent in Gen 5. So if it's Scarf Jump, he might fire Fang Predict in the Pharaoh or he might. Like, I don't think, if he's not Scarf and he's just bluffing, that's wild. He doubles into Brilon predicting what? Predicting Lando? Okay. Yeah, Lando was a potential player on Dragon Claw Fire Fang. Actually, I don't know if it would run Fire Fang or Fire Blast. I don't know what Scarf, what Garchom runs in Gen 5. So that's Scarf Lando, I assume, because uh, the Cheetah had rocks, the Pharaoh probably has spikes, and he has a Sable at the spin block. Okay, now, it, now I get his team a bit more. And that's like probably Sesh, I don't know if it's T with them. But he spored. Not, uh, he spored knowing he wouldn't go to Pharaoh Thorn or potential focus punch. Actually, why? 
It should get good with Gunferro Thorn. Because he had an Intimidate off. What, what, what happened here? Bloom went back. Oh yeah, okay, okay, Shogun puts the Tita to sleep further. So, it's left over Scissor. So, is this bulky SD? Um, I see, um, sometimes I see Scarf Scissor in Gen 5, and... I think bulky SD is also a thing. With, yeah, with Roost. Roost SD, Bullet Punch, and... What do I run last slot? Do I run, uh... Bug Bite? Or do they run U-turn? Okay, <laughs> U-turn. I was considering Pursuit also, wasn't sure if they run Pursuit. I still we see uh, Jarrow Ball? Oh, never mind. Shoka's getting played here. So the Brilliant can probably go for... No, not Focus Punch. Uh, any Fighting Step. Do they run Superpower? Goes back into Scizor. I don't, if he hits up, he could also. No, he didn't want to lose health on this prism, that makes sense, kind of. So he's probably just gonna roost, because Lando's earthquake will hurt if he's. Like, if he has D's on earthquake. There would be some 50 50 if he has D's here. Because earthquake would tweet KO, but then a potential bullet punch would kill the Lando after SD, but there's a fair on the back. No, no, I think he's just roosting here. You shouldn't SD. Oh, he, gets, he just gets crit. Oh, so if a crit does, if a crit did 82, um, it, earthquake did more than 50% anyway, so he couldn't have roosted off the damage. Like it would have done more than 50, or at least with a low roll, maybe it would have done around 50-ish. <coughs> Yeah, I guess he was predicting. He probably was just uh, roosting to scout what Choker locks himself into, and then next turn he could have gone to Landris or predicted, predict Choker to predict his Landris and stay in with Scissor. But yeah, that's not how it works. Okay, Jirachi gets up a sub, but the Ferrazon is uh, well trained. He doesn't miss any power whips. As, okay, Shoka predicted off quick there, man, Ladi, but the sub comes out. What does this Landorus run? Is it like SD Stone Edge, SD Smackdown? Does Landorus even learn Smackdown in Gen 5? I think it does. But I don't know if that's the thing. Let's recover, Ladi. Has HBI's Lando? I assume HBI's for opposing Lando? Yeah, that would make sense, but that doesn't do any damage to the Letty. I mean, with Sandstorm, it does a little bit. It does a little bit, but okay, it also has Smackdown. So it doesn't have SD. But yeah, this Landros is getting healthier and healthier thanks to uh, leftovers. As oh, yeah, okay, could Earthquake because he smacked them down. Now, Shoko's Lando is locked in. Um, he's probably forced to edge here. No, okay, he has all he also has HPIs, okay. <laughs> I know Blunder likes to run HPIs uh, in Gen 7 on Landers. On Scarf Lando, but I didn't know that was a thing in Gen 5. As this is a meh. I guess he's. Mm, what do you go out to this? I guess Landers. No, Landers would have died. No, man, no, man. That makes sense. Isn't he like forced. I don't think Dragon Claw kills, right? Actually, it's Scarf Landers. Dragon Claw might kill. But it, like if he locks himself into a dragon move, doesn't the Gerard, uh, the Pharaoh's on? Okay, the kid, okay, okay, never mind. The Pharaoh's at twenty-seven. Um, I mean that it doesn't matter at this point. If it's Sash, Zam, Shoka should win anyway. So if if Shoka wins, series score is four and four. But I still don't know who's playing who, like who the teams are. Okay, okay, Garchomp on his dual job. That's to break through uh, like his session and stuff like that. Too bad he... Like, this could even have a chance at winning if... 
if the Ferrothorn was not there, but the Ferrothorn will kill with Iron Barbs. Like, it will kill the Zem through Sash if it's Scarf Jump. Tita is still asleep, hasn't burned any sleep joints, I think. Lyrus just drops the rocks if he switches in. So, like, if Jirachi gets this Ferrothorn somehow, he can still win. Nah, I don't think it's possible. Joker just, uh. Does he just leech CT or does he go for. Go for Power Whip or something? Predicting the Landris. Joker got hexed at the beginning, but. But he's still winning. This man is powerful, holy. Yeah, okay, he just stays in. I don't know, I think he should have gone the land rhythm and banked on some type of choke. Okay, never mind, never mind. Choker made that. Yeah, Choker made the right play. Because Garchomp probably would have died to rocks plus spike if he switched out. Yeah, Choker made the right play, but. Why did he try to sub when he couldn't make a sub? I guess it doesn't matter. Like, there's a uh, Alakazam on the back. Like, even if it's not Sash, it kills the lander anyway, right? Ashoka t uh, takes this game, maybe pause real quick and see what teams they are on, I think. Lefty said that they are on his team, let me check. Yeah, Ashoka was on Lefty's team. So it's Indie Scooters versus Fireboot Falcons. Who else is on this? Cicada is on uh, Cicada, however you pronounce this, is on Fireboot Falcons. Who who else played earlier? Oh, Oros, oh, you the Son was X-ray. I think that game is they didn't play it, right? So I just wanted to uh, show you guys the score for for the teams, and I will be back with more SPL. I gotta eat something. Good God! Book recording in in coming. Blood the blood the plague later. I don't know who else.